Harvard University said today it's unlikely to return to normal by the fall, raising the possibility of more online classes. This is a growing number of students say they're not getting the college experience they paid for from closed campuses. There are protests and demands for refunds. Some are even suing their schools. CBS's Nicole Killian reports. Anthony Rojas is a second-year graduate student at the University of Florida, now suing the school to recoup fees for services he says he can't access while in quarantine. And those are fees ranging from transportation fees, also health fees, you know, for health centers that we can't go to right now. Rojas says it's about $1,000. If you could get that money back, what would it mean? These last few months have been a matter of, you know, scrounging money and just trying to find a way to pay rent, pay food. He's the lead plaintiff in a class action lawsuit involving the Florida Board of Governors, which oversees the state's 12 public universities and shut down campuses in March. We're talking about over 300,000 Florida students. Adam Moskowitz is his attorney. So that's about $26 million. Extrapolate that across the country, we're talking about millions of students and millions of dollars. At least 28 lawsuits requesting refunds have been filed against colleges and universities around the country. Mark Schaefer has a daughter at George Washington University and wants about $4,000 back in tuition. The online classes aren't the same as in-person classes. Um, you don't have the direct professor or student interface. George Washington says it's aware of the lawsuit and its faculty has worked hard to give students a quality academic experience from a distance. As for that other class action lawsuit, representatives from the University of Florida say they don't comment on pending litigation. Nora. Nicole, thank you.